Hey guys, it's Narelle here and this is going to be the video where I teach you guys how I draw my male characters. Everyone has been asking me for this and I kind of put it off because I'm not that great at explaining what I do. So that's the reason why I didn't really think tutorials were all that important because all of us will find our own way in doing things. Just to let you know, this is how I draw. You specifically do not have to use any of this that I do because it works for me. You can use some of the stuff that you think is helpful to your art. So as you can see, I actually pre-did the guideline. So um, if you guys didn't know, I only use a face guideline. For this tutorial, I am I'm actually going to teach you guys how to draw Naru. So as you can see, I've zoomed in on his face because it's just a lot more helpful. And for his eyes, I always just draw them very slender. But yeah, and you can see that I kind of went against my guideline. So as you can see, his eyebrow, not eyebrow, his eyelid is that what you call it? I put it a lot more slanted because since Naru has that mean look to him. So, um, I'm just going to go ahead and do his eyebrow because I really don't need to explain how to draw an eyebrow to you guys. So now that you have his eyes done, you I'm going to move on to the face because I add everything after I finish the face. Um, now we're going to move on to the nose. Um, I actually really like how I draw noses because it's so cute. So for guys, I typically give them more of a pointed nose. So for his mouth, Naru is not really a smiler. But since this video is going to be a happy video, he's going to be smiling for you guys. mouths you have the typical smiling face and a typical mad face for mouths you want to stay away from this typical genre how they look like you want to make it your own so for smiling face I kind of just break it down to like two little sections I actually use that and put a little thing in the middle to make the lip so I will make this rise a little bit and connect that and then make the teeth which is little marks here and if you want to do this person smiling you could just do this and for the lips you could just do this again another version of that but bigger and then you can put their lip line so for his neck guys tend to have a lot more thick necks i typically have a it's mine are like in the middle like mine are in the middle of this I don't like making my guys have super thick necks because that's not attractive to me. For the shoulders, since he is kind of looking at you from a three quarter, not three quarters. Yeah, it is three quarters of you. You want to make the, the this shoulder go out more and the other shoulder like go go in less. Moving on to the collarbones. I really don't know how to explain collarbones, but like a V and two sinking lines. So moving on to the hair. Naru has a one-way part hair. You want it to be somehow above your hairline so it doesn't look as flat on your head. So for Naru, I typically do it right here because you can see his eye and that's his part. So um, I typically do this to part the hair. And I just do the other part like this.
his bangs in. Um, I typically do Naru with really long bangs, but I'm starting to like him with short bangs. So it really doesn't matter to me. I draw him with different bangs all the time. But um, this is how I do my hair part. Um, I do like a typical Z, not Z, but a V thing and a little alfalfa. Okay, so that's basically it for this tutorial. I hope you guys enjoyed it because, like I said, I am not good with them. I'm just going to hide the guideline because it's kind of distracting. So there is the finished result of Naru. As you can see, I sped up me drawing it because I really didn't want to pay too much attention to that. So again, hopefully you enjoyed the video. And the only thing I want to stress to you guys is to find things that you like about art. If you have your own own likes and dislikes it's a lot more easier to find your own style so again thank you so much for watching and so bye guys and hope you have a good day see ya